Don't worry. You always have a way of sneaking into people's hearts. Bold move, sister. <sighs> uh, okay, good to see you. Farewell forever. Why did I do that? 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 Amity? Oh, yeah, that's silly. Why would Amity be in our... <laughs> Hootie brought me here? Uh, well, this is our basement. I am so sorry about this. Hootie's been acting weird all day. Yeah, house demons get like that after a couple thousand years. It's fine. Listen, about what happened at my place, I kind of... If we could just forget about the whole thing, maybe? I... Hey, uh, all I care about is getting you out of our dirty, weird basement. Whoa, whoa, hey! <laughs> Return to the world above, make your way through the tunnel of... <gasps> Amity sees this, she'll think I'm such a loser! What is this? Did you just say something? Uh... No! That was, uh, an invasive species. Yeah, it kind of was. Well, get out of your hair. Hey, Amity, wait! This wasn't me. This is all Hootie's stupid idea. Yeah, this was stupid. I mean, us? Dating? <laughs> That's stupid, right? <gasps> Amity? Oh my gosh, Amity, are you okay? I'm all right. I was just... I've been wanting to ask you something for a while. But I wanted to do it in the best way, and in the tunnel of love, I thought... Amity's too cool for this. I'm not as cool as you think. Okay, everything is so crazy right now, and I have no idea what my future holds, but it would be so cool if you were in it. So, uh... so ready. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you can say it. <sighs> okay. Amity Blight, do you want to go out with me? Yes! <laughs> okay! Why is this still so scary? I don't know. Chill, bossy boots. Everything's fine. Does this seem fine to you? Whoa! It's like I have snakes for arms. Please. She just has the common mold. It's harmless. But she's a human. We have no idea how it'll affect her. If I hit the portal key, would I return to the human realm? Yeah. Um? Yeah. I am not getting this back until you're better, okay? Mm. Oh. Uh, you got it. Got to admit, Amity, seeing you around more often is 
different. I know. But I was taught to see every situation as an opportunity. And today, I'll show Luce that I am an awesome girlfriend. Feels like just a few months ago, you almost got her dissected by your crazy principal. That was a few months ago. Ah! Luce! <gasps> M Mouse! Fill up diary entry! <laughs> I have to go to Eclipse Lake! <laughs> Luce! Luce, no! You are not well! She is shockingly strong! Uh. I volunteer as well. As Luce's girlfriend, I must... I get it, Boots. Just grab a coat. But what doesn't look good? Seems clear to me. Come back with results, or else... you can figure out the rest. No. Luce wouldn't make that kind of threat. I'm an awesome girlfriend. Has she told you that? Hmm. We have a lot in common, Blight. We're both trying to show what we can bring to the table. And we can't fail. Because there's nothing worse than disappointing someone who thinks you're special. Luce has been sending me these strange human codes. I don't understand all of them, but this one seems pretty clear. Come back with results, or we're done. <laughs> you are rad. Fool's blood bad. You okay? Come home? <laughs> of course. This is loose we're talking about. We know where to find you. And you're human. <gasps> so just hand over the key. Fine. Just stay away from loose. <sighs> Amity! I'm so glad my awesome girlfriend is okay. Me too. No king hug? What is this? You are a swindler and a thief! Come here, buddy! I regret this! I heard he's scarred from wild magic. I... <sighs> Amity! Hola, Batata. Did you just call me a sweet potato? Yes, is that not a term of endearment? Ugh, I'm still figuring out this human language book from Gus. Aw, Amity. You're the sweet potato. Uh, so, did that... Titan blood ever come in handy? Did you finish building the door? Did you visit your mom? Does she know about high fives too? Oh, uh, <laughs> I haven't used the door yet. I'm waiting for a good moment, you know? <laughs> Later, taters. Chapter 8, Azura pretends to kidnap Hecate during the ice festival to save her from the wizard clan. You remembered my favorite part. Yes, but right now I just want to keep my girlfriend from being sent to the conformatorium. Again. Ooh. Okay, Kikimura. Princess here will get you back to your family in Palm Stings by morning. She's a good girl and I'm sad to say goodbye, but Bump couldn't keep her at his place anymore. Isn't it great? You'll see everyone at the reunion, and when you return, you can brag about your daring escape! You're walking proof that you don't have to choose between worlds! <sighs> You've been such a help to me, human. You really are a kind person. And an utter fool! <laughs> what? Palm stings can burn for all I care! You heard, Terra. They want to promote me! Me! She could have been lying. <laughs> That's a risk I'm willing to take. Maybe as a thank you, I could give Bellows a few gifts. A troublemaking human, and... Ah, you're the little fire starter from Eclipse Lake.
get ahead of yourself. The Emperor has a great many plans, but causing a riot by hurting a couple of children is not one of them. The Emperor says he's looking forward to meeting you, human. Until then, happy Coven Day. Get up to you. Maybe you can tell me about this. <gasps> uh, don't worry, I haven't watched it. But you did finish the portal door. You did see your mom. And <sighs> it looks like it didn't go well. I'm sorry. I know this situation is crazy, and I'm okay taking things one day at a time. But I can't help if I don't know what's going on. You just looked so hopeful. You were even learning Spanish. And I thought if I helped out Kikimura, maybe there'd be hope for me. Tell me what happened. Okay. So, I had finished the door, but it didn't look like the normal portal. I must have missed it. Is Bellows planning something? And why did he say he's gonna meet you again? Didn't you already meet? What else don't I know? What's gonna happen? I... I'm not sure, but for now, we'll take things one day at a time. Luz! I heard that Spill it, Hermosa! The author of Azura is having a signing this afternoon at the Book Nook! Huh? You are much less excited than I imagined. I'm just confused. The author is human. No, she's not. She's from the Demon Realm. How do you think I got my books? How do you think I got mine? Whoa! Hey! See? Human! Can the author of Azura... Travel between <laughs> realms? Get off me! You guys aren't cute! I still have more friends than you! I can't believe we never uncovered this mystery before. I always thought Mildred Featherwile sounded too delightful to be a real name. Do you think she has her own portal? <gasps> do you think she's related to that human guy, Philip? What if the author is Ida? She's been keeping it secret this whole time because she's embarrassed by all the spelling errors. Okay, these theories are a little unrealistic. It's obviously your mother as a teenager sent forward in time to train you in the ways of witchcraft. Whatever it is, we're gonna find out soon. <laughs> what do we do now, Amity? I don't know. I've never found another store that sold those books. You were so close! I think that's her! That's the author! Mildred! Oh, Featherwile? Hm? Ah, follow her! Maybe it's Kikimura! And her only way to express herself is through fiction. Maybe it's another shape-shifting basilisk, trying to write their story through metaphor. <laughs> oh, what? Tanella Nosa? She's had a name this whole time? Sorry, boss. The jig is up. <gasps> Tibbles? Edited a few more of those author photos, boss. Some of my finest work. Loose? <laughs> Metholomew! Oh, calm down. Human garbage is constantly leaking into our water. And about a year ago, I found this box of books washed up on the shore. I've been trying to make a sale of it ever since, but no one's buying! Wait, I'm still getting paid for this, right? Not now, kid. According to the owner of the book nook, he's only ever had one customer purchase from the series. I, I didn't know. I swear! This is the worst scam I've ever run! So the author is human after all. Oh, were you expecting some dramatic discovery? <laughs> hmm. So, are you upset? Nah. The Zora's author may be a human, but I'm human too. Sometimes it's nice to be reminded that you don't need to be a powerful ancient witch to make something special. Well, I had fun coming up with those theories. They were like our own stories. <gasps> what if the Azora Book Club was also a writing club? What would be our first writing prompt? Hmm. How about 
the mystery of <gasps> what they were up to all night. <gasps> Not bad. Ooh, so pretty! <laughs> <laughs> Is everything okay? Ida told me it's a special day for you. She did? I mean, it's nothing for you to worry about. Not even worth talking about. Really, I, I just want to help you. Besides, can't let you have all the fun, Blight. Just don't get hurt, okay? Luce, did you lie to me earlier? I didn't want to worry you. Well, I am worried. You've been acting weird all day, and now I'm in trouble. What is going on with you? It's nothing, really. Seriously, it it's nothing. No! I'm not going anywhere with you! Either of you. <gasps> Amity? <gasps> Can I, uh, sit here? I've always wanted to enter this brawl. I thought it would be fun to bring home the belt. And I thought I could understand my dad better. But then you joined the competition. And then you tried to mess with that abomaton on your own. And then you lied about it. You've been acting strange all day. Does it have something to do with the human realm? Oh, okay, okay. I don't talk about this because it happened like a long time ago. And it's like totally not an issue anymore, but uh... Today's the anniversary of my dad passing away. That's not an excuse for what I did. Like I said, it happened a while ago, so I... didn't want to bring it up. He always brought us flowers on our birthdays, so after he passed away, we started picking flowers for each other. And then we'd visit his grave, and me and my mom would spend the day together. It's nice, but this year I I'm not with her. And I don't have any flowers. And when you told me about the problem with your dad, I don't know. Maybe I was jealous or just needed a distraction. I was dumb. I'm sorry. <gasps> <laughs> Whoops. Got a case of the old jelly legs. I'll catch up. I don't know what rituals you have in the human realm, but I'll help you pick some flowers and we can do something here. Thank you for listening. I can't wait to pick flowers with you. Find any good ones? No, not really. Let me try. Ugh. How do you get it to do what you want? You gotta know what you need. I can't believe I didn't try this first. My head's really on backwards today. Now what? Do you think they'll reach the human realm? Probably doesn't work that way, but... It's a nice thought, right? These are the last messages I got from Luce. She must have typed them quickly because all I could decipher was learned a lot of bad stuff, something something, day of unity, something something, and don't scare him away? I don't know what any of it means. What about all those hearts? Oh, <laughs> those are for me. Mom broke it. I'm gonna fix it, and I'm gonna get a message out to Luce. I'm gonna do something. We already tried burning down the factory. That's what got us grounded, too. If Mom would just hear us out. We can shout as loud as we want, but money always shouts louder. Dad would listen. I know he would. The world is ending. No one will listen to us. And I just... I just want to know that Luce is safe. What do you think Luce would say to you right now? Probably 
something dorky, but also sweet. Like, how I shouldn't give up and that anything is possible. I should say that I might be scared now, but to not let that stop me because, because every problem has a solution. And everything's been so crazy, we've barely been able to spend time together. And I am not letting the world end before we go on a real date. Whoa, you're right. I would say all that. <gasps> Loose! Sweet potato! <laughs> I'm gonna take you out when this is all over, Amity. I promise. No monsters, no mysteries, no deadly duels. It's going to be the most mundane slice of life date ever. And it'll be awesome. I know. Oh, crikey. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I just said that. Oh, crikey. How did I even think that? Come on, Luz, be cool next time. Luz, I don't think my parents know what they're helping Pelos accomplish. Will you help me tell them about the draining spell? Of course. That's why we're here. We? Are you trying to make me look bad? She's trying to help people. Hush, brat. Don't you talk to my girlfriend like that! Girlfriend? Oh, no, no. That won't do. We'll find you a new girlfriend. Someone who's not on wanted posters everywhere. <laughs> Oh, really? You're embarrassing yourself. Sister. Mm -hmm. 